Howdy guys, in today's video with a Flexi Starter, we're going to be looking at importing um, PLT files. But uh, let's start with a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. Uh, we do have a variety of different softwares we cover and also we upload videos daily. So you can just keep an eye there for any new content. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, just a reminder, this is a mini series on the importing files. So I will um, leave relevant links in the description so you can follow along. So like I mentioned today, we'll be looking at the PLT um, file format. Now, this is uh, quite commonly used in Autodesk and so forth. And it's also, it's kind of uh, sending information to your plotter. So uh, at the moment, we have two different uh, PLT um, versions to look at. So we've got the original and then we've got number two. Another um, way to recognize a format is um, they might speak of HBGL files. So they'll actually be referring to the PLT file format. So if we start, there's two ways we can do this. First, we can go on our standard bar on top here and we can navigate to the import uh, icon, which is a little stiffy, it looks like a save, it goes to a paper. Or what we can do is we go on file on top, we navigate to import. Then from the pop-up menu, we want to select from the files um, of type to HPGL. You'll see there's a, many different file formats under there. So then, uh, or rather let's show so the HP-GL. That is actually the right one because it supports uh, number two as well. So then these two files here. So we've got the HPGL, so original and the HPGL2. So if we go to the first one we import, we'll see it gives us an option here for the resolution and then steps per inch. So I'm just, I'll leave this on default import. And then we have your import parts as wires, lines without um, width. Now, personally, in my opinion, I found with the first version with the switches on or off, I don't see much of a difference. So if you click here, you can see that I've switched it off, but it's still only wires. But perhaps there is some line width. I'm not sure. So then uh, next up, we have the version 2. So we do the same thing, file, import, then we um, navigate to number 2. And you'll see what the interesting with number 2 is. Same options. Now I'll leave it on, so it's only wireframe. But uh, now we actually have the folds. So I'm not 100% sure what's happening there. But what it comes down to is the version 1 um, doesn't seem to support any folds. And then uh, the PLT version 2, you can say, or later version supports folds as well. Otherwise, that is it on the um, HPGL uh, PLT file format. We navigate here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice um, we have a variety of different softwares to do cover, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can also navigate um, and isolate your search on top here if you're looking for anything specific. Or if you don't find what you're looking for, just go to your requested training video, then we will make that for you. Otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.